Hi uh, yo, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a pixel and make it move on the screen. So let's create a gadget. Uh, get a couple of boards. Uh, solder them together. And let's go to input. Let's grab this button right here, D-pad. And input, I mean uh, output. Let's get this screen right here. Misc. We're going to need a video chip and a CPU. And that's all we need. Now we go to the left over here, click on this blue bar. Go to edit. CPU 0.lal. Edit. And let's create a couple variables. First one is video equals gdt dot video chip zero. Next variable pad equals gdt dot dpad zero. And so why do we make these variables? Well, we make them to, so we do not have to keep uh, typing this stuff over and over, you know, gdt dot dpad, all that. We can just shorten it and just say video and pad. Okay, next let's get our x and y coordinates. So let's do um, x equals video dot height actually dot width y equals video dot height okay next let's create the pixel so let's do video colon uh... Let's see set pixel and inside the set pixel let's do a vec2 parentheses inside the vec2 x comma y and back into the set pixel add another comma and let's add a color color dot yellow okay let's see if we can get it to show on the screen now we got nothing that's because the screen is not connected to the video chip so we click on the screen go to the bottom left video chip click on none and then click on video chip zero and let's see if you get it to work. No, nothing still. Uh, let's see. Let's see what the coordinates are for x and y. So we can do print x, comma y. So they are located at sixty-four x is 64, y is 64, that is off the screen so to fix that we can move them to the middle of the screen by dividing the width by 2 and the height by 2 so x equals video dot width divided by 2 and y equals video dot height divided by 2 see now now we got the pixel in the middle of the screen and those coordinates are 32 64 divided by 30, 64 divided by 2 is 32. Now let's um, let's get that pixel to move. We can do that by um, creating x equals x plus pad dot x 
make sure it's a capital X and we can see the range is from negative 100 to 100 positive so we can divide that by 100 let's do the same for y y equals y minus pad dot capital Y divided by 100 okay let's see if we can make it move now yes it moves but it's not clearing the previous pixels so how do we fix that well we need to clear it so we can do let's create a video dot clear first one parentheses and then let's make the color the same as the screen black see if it works we got a runtime error. We can mouse over the the red line to see what's going on. Missing argument two. Vector expected. So we can either do this, put video, because let's see. You can see clear requires a video chip and a color up here. So we could either write it like this, video.clear, video, comma, color. Or we can remove this period, video, colon, clear. And now it should work. Yep, there we go. But we still got a problem pixel leaves the screen and we lose track of it so how do we fix that well let's figure out the boundaries of x and of the screen so if we go to the right you can see at the bottom left the number increases to 63, 64. And if we go the opposite way to the left, the x goes to 0. If we go past that, it goes negative. y is up is 0, down is 64. 63 so we could write some code to make sure it does not go past uh, those boundaries so we can do an if statement if x is greater than 63 then x equals 63 and let's test it out go to the right and look it's not it's not going past 63 we can see at the bottom left the x coordinate Let's do the same for the left. If x is less than 0, x equals 0. Go to the left, it is not going past 0. Go to the right, not going past 63. And let's do the same for y. So if y is greater 
then 63 y equals 63 and if y is less than 0 y equals 0 all right let's test it out okay y is not going past 63 not going past 0 and we have contained the pixel And that is how you create a pixel and make it move on the screen. I'll see you guys in the next video.